Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will continue the um, topic about the site, about the um, uh, topography, topo surface. So and we will check now the other tools. So at the last um, uh, series we have finished with the uh, property line and graded uh, region and label cont contours. So if you have not seen that just check the previous video and welcome back to those who already watched that uh, that uh, series so we will continue today with the uh, building part so what is that building part so for that one i will copy my uh, previous um, previous topo um, topo surface somewhere here and we will work with this side so let's choose the our building part and as you see here we have the same tools uh, same uh, drawing tools for the sketching our pad so the pad is the place under your building so you can make it higher for example you can increase the that making the some uh, podium or you can uh, uh, extract some soil and making the basement i will show you now on the practice so uh, let's choose for example the rectangular and i'll show you the difference for example i will do the one here and let's say this is will be minus 500 minus 5000 even and let's say okay and we will create the other part i think here nearby and we will make it like plus 5000 so we can don't use the plus I just showing like it's not uh, negative so let's go to, to 3d and we'll check the difference between them off here we are as you see this is our minus it's going inside to our soil so I'll change the uh, fin of line now we can see ex exactly and here we can have this something like a podium so we can uh, extrude our building above the place above the our surface so what else we can change uh, when we creating the building part? So let's go to the, for example, to this side and change the boundary. We can make the slope arrow. So let's make the slope arrow from that side to that side. And if I will uh, select this arrow, I'm able to change the height of that. Let's say it will be like 1000, who knows? And let's say OK, let's go back to 3D. We cannot see anything. This OK. Because I did wrong. So let's go back. Let's go it's here. The level it's tie, level it's one. The height, default, uh, level of head, it will be, oh, sorry, this is level one. No, actually, this is level one and this is level two. This, this is zero and here the 5000 so it means like this one zero and here the 1000 and let's say okay and as you see we get something like slope uh, slope the pad so uh, what else we can change in our pad let's go back uh, inside to our pad sorry here edit boundary here we can see unchangeable parameters about our pad we can easily check the per perimeter of that or area or volume for example you need the volume for the concrete who knows and also we able to change the material i mean uh, the type of the pad so if we'll go to edit type we can change the structure as you can see now it's standard one structure like thickness is like 300 something and no any material let's change it and for example i want to make it like uh, some new material let's create the new material for that one and i want um, some soil okay let's do it and let's apply it so here we are and i'm highly recommend you don't use any material here and any thickness and other thickness so it's actually it's enough if you will make it only 100 because uh, when you will extract the soil 
uh, original earth, you will uh, put there only the 100 millimeters of uh, uh, height resolution or something else. So just use the 100, it will be enough. And let's say OK. Let's say OK again. Let's go to the plan and I will create one section of that. To, you will see exactly what's going on there. So let's go and right click and go to the view. Let's change the view to the shaded, so maybe medium one. And I can, I want to see what's going on everywhere. And I'll change one more thing. I will change for my topography. I will go to the messing side here and I'll change the um, elevation to minus, I don't know, like 30,000. Why not? And apply. Now we can see easily what's going on here. Here there's our pad, as you see this extracting, and here the slope pad. So the slope pad can be used for the road, actually. You will ask why. We can use it for the road. So that's it about the building pad. Some trick things, some tips I'll show you later. But for now, the basic things, how it's working, you understand. I think it's clear. Now we will switch to the split surface and merge surface. You already understand what is that from the name, but if you are not, I should show you. Let's first we'll uh, check the what is that split surface. So we will uh, choose the split surface. After that, uh, sorry, just after that, Revit asking us the we should choose the topper uh, surface way we wanna use it. And no matter how you will draw it, for example, as you see, it's uh, going out of the line, no matter. I'll say OK. And Revit will, will split us the surface. Now it's two different, it's uh, two independent surface. So if I will go and edit surf this surface, for example, I, I will change this line, I don't know, like 60,000 because you, you, you will be able to see what's going on. And I will go to 3D. As you see, we have the here gap because this surface is independent from that one. Okay, I will undo that. I'll go again to the side and I will apply everything. And now I will copy this side and I will show you how working the other tool, like merge surface. Merge surface is totally uh, other thing, it just when your one surface connecting to the other surface, you can merge it and make it like single, single piece of the surface. Why not? And now as you see when I will changing, I will get all my lines. Okay, that's it about the sur split surface and merge surface. Uh, all the function is only the split and uh, make it back. So now we will uh, check what is that subregion. Actually, sub subregion doing the same thing like a split surface, but uh, when you will uh, divide your surface by region, you not will get like independent object. It still will be one union object. What I mean? Let's choose the subregion and let's make it like like I did before, like this one, and let's say okay. As you see. Again, I get two different um, two different surface, but it's not. This is one region. For example, I will change here the material. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I will do this one. It's okay, I think. And as you see, the different materials we can apply for that side. And if I will go to 3D, I cannot see here anything. I will change to the which one where I can see the exactly what's going on. Ah, it's here, sorry. So, and if I will try to change it, I can change only the boundary. I cannot change the uh, height of that part. I can change only the overall height. For example, here, as you see. And again, I, I am able to change all these dots. For example, I will choose these dots and I will say like 50,000. Let's say OK. And as you see, this continue to split this surface. But anyway, this 
like like working like a one surface actually this uh, tool using we using only to split uh, the one type of material to the other type of material and sometimes when you don't have the time to create the road you can use this subregion and it's useful because it's uh, following your uh, your toposphere toposurface so it means uh, you can simplify and uh, create your site plan without uh, any hard working so that's it for today and next tutorial we will uh, check uh, other tools and we will continue with some uh, more hard more complex uh, things with top surface and we will create one mm, one the one site one complex site and I will show you how it's work. Actually, I will show you uh, the result now. And as I said, guys, here is my project. Actually, sorry, this is like advertise advertising, but sorry, guys. This project you can able to download from my Patreon or you can buy it from the uh, Gumroad. All the links below this uh, video. But now about the top of surface, let's go to 3D in this project and uh, what I said, you can you able to create your uh, site, you're able to create your road and it will be everything fine. For example, we can change the face here, even they have the face, you can use it, for example, foundation and here I'm use the pads. So if you're interested in how it is, I will try to show you everything. So now I think you are exciting and you are ready to uh, like uh, taking my knowledge and uh, use the knowledge to your work. So that's it guys. Don't forget like, subscribe and leave some comments below this video. I'll be happy for that and see you in the next video. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.